Hey guys, Avneen Anshu from Function One here. Function One is a solution services company specializing in operational intelligence, and today we'll be doing a screencast for our application, Splunk for Oracle Web Logic Server. So here we have the topology page, which displays a high level overview of the WLS infrastructure. You can select your domain from the drop down, which is being pulled from a lookup table that's auto populated periodically by scheduled search. The various panels below the drop-down show information about the domain. The servers in the domain list all the managed servers within the domain as well as the admin server. It also lists which machine each server is run on. Next we have Applications and Domain, which displays applications deployed in the domain. The Machines and Domain panel displays machines that host servers within that domain. Below that we have the JMS Servers and Domain panel which lists current messages and pending messages for each server. And finally, JDBC data sources in domain shows the number of active connections per data source. Let's take the following scenario into consideration. Your company recently deployed the record services application in the domain, and you want to see the performance of the server since deploying the application. The machine page displays information about the machine selected. The drop-down lists all the machines within your WLS environment. The next three panels list the domains, servers, and applications on the machine. The domains on the machine panel lists the domains that this machine is a part of. Next to it, servers on machine displays the WLS servers hosted on this machine. And finally, applications on machine displays the applications which are deployed on the machine. As you can see, the record services application is displayed here. The next few panels show system metrics for the machine. Percentage CPU load shows the min, max, and average CPU utilization over time. This currently displays over a 24-hour period. Memory available shows the memory available in megabytes for this machine. Percent JVM heap by server panel displays the Java virtual machine heap used by the server. And finally, the percent CPU used by process panel indicate CPU utilization for the top processes on the machine. Let's take a look at the server from the WLS perspective. To do that, we transition over to the server overview page. The dropdowns automatically populate based on the selection from the machines page. The first dropdown lists the domains and also the WLS servers within each domain. The percent JVM heap displays the JVM heap used by the WLS server. Below that, application status indicates the status of each application on the WLS server. Next, the JMS queue status panel shows pending and current messages for the JMS queue. The request queue status panel shows hogging threads, pending requests, and total threads on the WLS server. JDBC data sources list the active connections by data source. Finally, Errors, alerts, and warnings displays all issues encountered over the last 24 hours for the server. As you can see, there are no errors for this particular server over the last 24 hours. Next, let's look more into the record services application, which was just deployed. The application page lists all applications deployed within your environment. It also lists the application's current status, the domain it's running in, and which servers the application has been deployed to. By clicking on a server name, this will take you back to the server overview page. Have another question that needs to be answered? There's also an ad hoc search page, similar to Splunk's search application, which allows you to perform ad hoc searches for your WLS and OS data. Finally, the About page is where you will find information about the application, as well as important contact information. Thanks for listening. We hope you take a few moments and test drive our app. It's free and available on Splunk Base, along with detailed product documentation. We'd also love to hear your feedback. Shoot us an email at support at function1.com, or you can check out our blog at blogs.function1.com.